ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Phoenix Championship of Bowls, live from Burlington Lumbling Club in Burlington, Ontario. Uh, I am one third of your hosting group from the Canadian Bowler, Daryl Fitzgerald. I hope that we will get Luke Caldwell either on the broadcast or on rank two so we can actually stream him playing. Uh, we had a delay this morning trying to get everything ready with uh, the Wi-Fi connection and our thing, which is technical difficulties. Uh, it's a beautiful day here. Hopefully the rain will hold off and we will be able to stream everything for you. Um, to kick things off, uh, don't forget to check out all of our social media uh, areas, which is YouTube, Facebook, uh, Twitch, and Instagram, everything that is uh, on your screen right now. I will quickly go over the rules, and then we will show you the end of this game between uh, Laura Seed and Dave Anderson and Jeff Harding and Chris Stadnick. So, the rules. We'll be playing in open pairs, three bowls, five ends, Closest lead bowl, uh, once leads are done bowling, is three points. Any toucher is worth three points. Shot bowl at the end of play is worth ten points. Second shot is worth five points. And third closest is three points. And that has nothing to do with measure who's shot and then keep going until the opponent. It's whoever's shot gets those points, whoever's second, regardless of the team, gets those points, and so on. So it could be a very high-scoring game. So we've got this match going on right now. They will be coming to an end soon. We'll go to a short intermission, and then uh, we will go on to the next game. We apologize for missing the first one. Uh, technical difficulties, as usual. If you're in the chat, don't forget to send your comments. I can read them on air. If you have questions, comments, whatever it is, we're happy to hear from you. If there's sound quality issues, if you aren't sure what's going on, ask your questions. Let me know if you can't hear me or if something's too loud or too quiet. This is our first attempt at streaming, and uh, we are just glad to have everybody along for the ride. So in this case, Dave Anderson is the lead bull closest at the end of the lead play so he would get three points and now we're looking at the skips playing Chris Stanek up, up first everybody in Canada may know these players Dave Anderson, a uh, pretty legendary player, as well as Chris Stadnick and Jeff Harding. Uh, Laura Seed was on our After Dark program recently, talking about the NAC. We've done some interviews with uh, Chris Stadnick as well on our channel. And maybe I can wrangle Jeff Harding to do an interview with us at some point. Very interesting person. I'm very knowledgeable about bulls. If you're in the area of Burlington Lawn Bowling Club, please come down and give us a check. I will try to get you an updated score in a moment.
not quite reaching. Uh, pandemic issues may be plaguing some of these players, not having played in quite a while. I know for myself, I've only rolled a few times. I'm pretty sure Luke, who you can see at the top of your screen in a Phoenix uh, jersey, he hasn't bowled in almost two years. So this should be interesting. All right, I'll try to get you an updated score now, and we'll post it up here. It's a high-scoring game, I'll tell you that. The jack is set, for those of you that might be wondering. So there is no lead, lead rolling of the jack. It's set between two points. There's chalk marks on the, on the green. Come up just a bit short there, Dave. Jeff Harding's attempt. It's better reaching bowl. Pretty good. Super high scoring game here. It's 53 to 37 for Dave Anderson and Laura Seed right now. Getting a quick update from Luke that he, uh, he sucks. In case anybody wants to know and uh, chirp him during our program. Tough climb back because it's only this uh, final end to play. Let me pop up that scoreboard for you. Looks like Dave might be shot, but it's a close between Dave's and uh, Jeff Harding's back bowl, I believe. We'll be adjusting some of the camera angles as we go just to, to see if we can get in a little closer, get a better angle. Everything's a work in progress, so we appreciate you uh, hanging in there with us and giving us any feedback that you have. Just a reminder that uh, one of the key sponsors of this event is Aero Bowls, and we at Canadian Bowler are very happy to uh, be part of it.
And you have to remember, there's a big bonus for having touchers. So playing a little through the head, a little extra get that toucher can pay off for you. Shot run. Lord Seed. I think in this instance, Chris just wants to play through the head. Contact on Dave's or Laura's bowl there. Dragging it back is good. No reason to be late on this. Two bowls left. How is this going to turn out? Lots of discussion going on in the head. A debate going on here. Slight correction to the score. It looks like there was a missing point. It has been found. is going to be playing onto her two side bowls if she can push it. You know, push and replace, add another one to the head, try to push it back if you can. I don't think that's reaching, it's just going to block the front. Unless she was trying to block the drive, I would have been more recommended to play through. With the score that the way it is, you might as well just play through and try to match those Red Bulls in the back. Sixteen points. What Chris needs is a toucher to drag it and push it right to those two Red Bulls and they could have it. Get the toucher three points, shot bowl ten points, second shot five points, and then you got the game with the other three points. Oh, 
Let's see what Chris has here. Oh, he just chucked it. Just to the side. All he needed was a little push back and it would have been perfect. But he just caught the edge and, and chipped it to the side. Even uh, if he had chipped it to the uh, left, it might have been even more beneficial. So we'll try to get a final score for you guys, but from what it looks like, that is Game Seed Anderson over Hardening and Stadnik. We appreciate you tuning in today, our inaugural live stream from Burlington Lumbling Club. Please let us know how we're doing, let us know how the commentary is going, how the visuals are, sound, all the above. Uh, we want to know exactly what you guys are seeing and if everything is good. Just verifying the score. This is a new scoring system for everybody, so I'm sure that there's questions on what's going on, but um, there's plenty of games today to get that scoring system down, and we will go over it again for those that are tuning in from game to game. to say I'm happy to see people back at bowls. I'm happy to see an event like this going on at uh, Lum Burlington Lumbling Club. Pardon me. It's been a while since Bulls has been in Ontario. And this is a good kickoff even if it's a smaller amount of teams. Hopefully the next event which is the championship we'll see greens full of people wanting to be a part of this. Don't forget to check out uh, phoenixbowls.com. You can see live scores, live standings. You can see the rules, all the above. So everything is there for, for your viewing pleasure. Luke, how'd it go? Awful. I suck. I think I might retire. Matthew, thank you for the question. The green speed <laughs> is around 11. Hopefully it will speed up during the day. In Ontario, it is a little slow. So if you're watching from Australia, it's slow. <laughs> 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 
But that's what we deal with in Ontario. And we've had a lot of wet weather, and we might have more wet weather right now. So Appreciate the question. Guys, we are going to take a quick intermission. Uh, adjust the cameras so hopefully you get a better viewing angle, and we will be back with game number two. What if there was a sport that had very few rules and wasn't complicated, that was as competitive or as relaxed as you wanted to make it, that required no uniforms or gear, nothing except flat shoes, and that would let you have people from the young to the young at heart on your team? You'd be talking about bowls. Played around the world and all across Canada in singles, pairs, triples and fours, bowls combines accuracy strategy, exercise, and a ton of fun into one simple, awesome sport. It's quick to learn and it's easy to be good. From casual pickup type games, club ladders, competitions, right up to the Canadian national level and onto the world stage. Even if it's just down the street to your local outdoor or indoor club for a game, a smile, and some time together. Bowls. It's just brilliant. Check it out.
Back everybody to Burlington Lawn Bowling Club for the Phoenix Championship of Bowls, being streamed live by the Canadian Bowler. We have a match going on right now. We'll update the teams for you. The score is zero zero. And we are just kicking off. These games are rapid fire, so we're we're trying to make adjustments on the fly and, and keep the stream going. This match on Green Two at the Burlington Lawn Bowling Club is between the brothers, uh Carrie Lucier and Mark Lucier. And the father son of Mike Bester and Bob Bester. Uh, three points for Kerry Lucier with his yellow balls for that toucher. Probably three. Uh, Bob Bester just indicating to Mike that uh, they're probably holding all three shots right now for second and third. Which is uh, ten points for first shot. Five points for second shot. Ah, nice, really short bowl from uh, Mike there. So I was saying uh, 10 points for first shot, five points for second shot, three points for third, regardless of team. Andrew, uh, yeah, Mike is Ryan's brother and Bob is Ryan's dad. So a direct relation. There are two of the three that are still in Ontario that uh, Ryan used to play fours with, and uh, Ryan used to play pairs with his dad quite a lot. So definitely a link to Australia. And as you guys know, Ryan's pretty good. <laughs> Arguably the most famous uh, Canadian, definitely of modern times. Andrew, thank you for checking us out. Uh, Brisbane, beautiful. Um, I've been on the Gold Coast, down to Broad Beach uh, for a few events and got to tour a little bit around, so awesome. Hey, Melbourne, Vivi. Hopefully I said that right, Vivi. I hope you guys are doing okay. I mean, I hear the uh, lockdowns are on and off and all over the place down there. I'm hoping that uh, I can get down to Australia again. It's such a beautiful country. I don't know if that was just narrow. Very narrow. Yeah. 
see what Bob's got up his sleeve here. Uh, you are in lockdown. That's terrible. We actually uh, just kind of got out of lockdown the last couple weeks, and this is the first Bulls event that I've actually attended where there's lots of people, which is very interesting. Another narrow bowl on the other side, right through the head from Mark. Nothing really close yet. Quick update on the score here. Huge score for uh, Carrie and Mike Lucier. Mark is actually just coming off of winning the club singles championship down in Windsor, where they're from. This is the uh, south end of Ontario. I have a feeling that Kerry and him might have played off in the final there. So, brother versus brother. Mark came up on top, and he's leading today. For those of you down in Australia watching, uh, just so you know, the greens are much slower up here in Canada, um, where, let's say you guys want a 15 second green, we're pretty happy with a 12. Uh, most clubs would die for a 12 or 13. <laughs> right now, this is probably somewhere between 11 and 12. Great bowl there from Kerry. So you might hear some grunting in the background. That is a tennis court that's behind me, and we're just picking up a little bit of that. So, just in case anybody was wondering. break there and catching that front bowl but I believe that was one of Mark's so not terrible Besters are struggling right now got to catch up down 24 points I'm looking to get a score here might be a toucher I think that's what Mike was going for unfortunately he loses that bowl which is really unfortunate Here he's got that very deliberate uh, walk up to the mat. Another great bowl. Don't know if he just opened that up for Mike, but uh, never hurts to have another bowl in the head. I think uh, he's asking for possible drive. He's just getting a little clarification. Uh, just playing a little through. Unfortunately, narrow. One and two go to the Lucia's, and number three goes to the bowl, uh, 
to the Vesters. Andrew, the, the bowls that we t typically use over here are more bendy. Um, you'll see some really old sets like Super Grips and uh, Lignoids. Um, more modern bowls that we use, uh, Taylor Ace, um, hence like Tigers. I'm not 100% up on Arrow, but I know there's a, a few sets that they use of Arrows as well. Uh, you'll see uh, Internationals, Henslite Internationals, I think it's Henslite International, and um, and variations of those. You will see some people use Dreamlines and really narrow bowls, and it looks awful here. It's like, it's like alley bowling, because you're right up the middle, because we get a lot less bias than you would down there in Australia. You know, where uh, Dreamline XG or... or uh, Like an SR, a Taylor SR would uh, make sense down in Australia. Yeah, don't really make sense here. Mark with a decent bull here, but jack high, but a foot off. Get a quick update on score for you here. Lots of points flying around. So I coach a lot. Um, I coach internationally for Canada. Uh, I coach in the area as well. And it's always my recommendation to use a slightly wider swinging bowl in Canada uh, just to get around stuff give you more options um, some people are just dead set on using as many straight bowls as they can which is obviously personal preference but um, swinging bowls are, are definitely more versatile up here. Probably something that wouldn't play well down there. You could break out a classic or a, or a legnoid down in Australia on the 15 second, 16 second green, and you're probably going corner to corner. <laughs> We're just waiting for. Uh, to take that mark. Keep the questions coming. I love them. That's what we're here for. Part of our mandate of the uh, Canadian Bowler and, and how we make our our content is we want to bring bulls to the world. We want uh, Canadian bulls to be seen by everybody, and we want Canadians to see bulls from around the world. So everybody knows what's going on. Everybody understands the game at so many different levels. Because how you play in Australia is not how you play in Canada, is not how you play in the UK, and is not how you play on carpet. <laughs> Everything's a little different. Just missing the sliding through from Carrie. Looks like uh, Mike and Bob are down one, but they have second and third. I wouldn't be surprised to see Mike try to take out that shot bowl. Just trying to draw up. Coming up real short. Close to 20, two feet away. I see 
Carrier's best bet is dry in here. He just needs another one in the head. If Mike goes for the takeout, they could have all three. Mike from Wales. I'm not going to try to uh, pronounce that. <laughs> Aber Swith, hopefully. Thanks for tuning in. All right. I believe Mike's going for the takeout. It looks like he's winding up for a drive. Do the quick transition here. Great ball. All three. Big pickup for Bester Bester. Unfortunately, we don't have an instantaneous uh, scoring system. But I will get an update. Obviously, uh, Mike and Bob Bester picked up a huge amount of points there. Not a bad opener. Just going right through. off of that camera just so you can see everybody. Short and narrow from Mark. Let's see if Bob can better his last one. in the jack level. Mark looks like he's just going to catch Bob's on the outside, bump him in. Fortunate result there. Need to get a third one in there. And while they're transitioning, great pull from Bob. I will update the score for you guys. Good pickup for Bester Bester, closing that gap. They need another good end here to close that gap even more to, to make the final end really interesting. Just gonna try to get another one in the head. Sorry about the camera angles. I am working to stream all by myself, <laughs> so we do have stationary where we can see the full head. But uh, if the mat gets drawn up, obviously angles get a little weird. We do appreciate everybody tuning in. This is our very first attempt at live streaming for the Canadian Bowler. It's something that we wanted to do for quite a while, and there just hasn't been bowls around here to to do it with. All right, Bob's indicating that uh, they probably got number one. Just roll a little bit through. Right online though.
Don't pull that from Carrie. It is a little through, but it throws a little mixer in there so that Mike can't just drag that straight back. Gotta be a little more careful. He does want to drag it all to the right and to the back. Shuffle. Could be sitting one and two. Carry with the final bowl here. See if he can snatch number one. I don't know if he's going to play weight through it. Just asking for a cold draw for first shot. Carrie's going to want to play just a little bit through. Just what? That's 15 for Bob and, and Mike there, and we'll measure for the third. got all three. That's a huge swing in the last couple ends, so this last end will be the decider. Wait for an official score update before uh, I update the score for you guys. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream. If you have any questions, whether it's about this event, Canadian Bulls in general, um, or just bowls. Let me know. That's what the Canadian Bowler is all about. That's what uh, Luke, Mike, and I do here. We want to show bowls at all levels in all countries, show athletes from every country. Here, 45 42. Uh, Bester shut out uh, Kerry and Mark in that last end and picked up all three, so that was a huge swing. They're now in the lead. Decent ball from Bob, probably about two feet behind. thing about this event and this style of scoring uh, my suggestion for every player for anybody that I've heard playing this kind of thing is you got to be to the head you know a toucher a toucher's worth three so even if you nick it you touch it you rub it you, you want those three points you're not going to get it by being really short Again. <laughs> Gary and Mark Lucier down all three shots. Bob's holding for second and third. Which I think Mark is really narrow on this one. He may have taken one of those away, but that's three points for for Bob for being the lead shot bowl. After this match, I'll go over the rules again, why the scores are so big, which is not typical of a bowls event. And then we'll go through a short intermission waiting for the third game. 
Mike and Bob just having a uh, quick discussion in the middle of the green, probably talking about how to hold the score and, and just how much they're ahead, because I th think they should be up 48 to 42 after Bob's lead bowl is shot. Mike's definitely reaching here. Great ball. Toucher and nestled it into those two other bowls. Assumption is Carrie's going to play some weight up and, and through this, try to dislodge that. Looks like it. Not a drive, but heavyweight. Unfortunately, he promoted uh, Bob's only bowl out in front. So the Besters are holding first and third. Lucies are holding second shot. And Mike just drew in second shot right there. If anybody is interested in seeing the standings, what teams are in here playing, and how things are shaking out, this is the second game. Uh, there is live scoring that is up, phoenixbowls.com, and you can see exactly who's sitting where on the leaderboard after two games once this game is finished. Carrie and Mark having a discussion on how they can uh, change this. They're currently holding third shot. They need that first shot. So for everybody out there, if... Uh, you have any comments or questions about the stream if things don't look right or things are a little weird this is our first attempt at live streaming so we welcome all the comments and criticisms and suggestions for for making the stream better sorry Carrie is just asking about uh, what the shot is I think he's going for possibly a drive to punch one of them out and stay Maybe not a drive, but uh, overweight just to push it up and, and roll in. But yeah, we're constantly trying to make updates. We've uh, made all the graphics ourselves, tried to make some of the intro and music stuff interesting to you guys, and we just hope you enjoy it. And you keep coming back as we start to uh, expand our streaming into other things. Uh, unfortunately, that's a miss from Kerry, and that'll seal the deal for Bob and Mike Bester. We'll get you, hopefully, an official score once everything is done. But Bob and Mike Bester take down Kerry and Mark Lucier.
final is 66 45 after 5 big win for our best or best or good comeback win being shut out in the first and down quite a bit in the second uh, took the last three ends and just ran away with it So everybody, here I am. Uh, thank you for tuning in to the stream. We do appreciate it. Uh, my name is Daryl Fitzgerald. I am one-third of the hosting trio for the Canadian Bowler. You can check us out on YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash Canadian Bowler, Facebook, Canadian Bowler. Um, all our socials have our name. Instagram is the only one that's a little different, which is Canadian Lawn Bowler. Check out our content. We do live shows, kind of a talk show. Hopefully, every two weeks, we do an After Dark, which is a panel show as well on YouTube. And uh, while you're checking out this stream, make sure you check out phoenixbowls.com for live, up-to-date uh, scoring. They will update all the second round once these games are finished. And right now, I will go over the rules. So this is an open pairs event. It is three bowl pairs, five ends only. Uh, closest lead bowl after leads have played is three points. Rolling a toucher is three points. Uh, shot bowl after all is played is ten points. Second shot is five points. And third closest is three points. So lots of points to go around. And the shot of first, second, and third is not based on the traditional I measure first I have shot and I continue to measure until I get to the op next opponent's bowl uh, points are awarded regardless of which team has first second and third pardon me that was a huge bang all right What we're going to do is I'm going to go back to the green camera, we're going to go into a short intermission, and we'll get ready for round number three. Alright? Stay tuned, and we will be right back. What if there was a sport that had very few rules and wasn't complicated, that was as competitive or as relaxed as you wanted to make it, that required no uniforms or gear, nothing except flat shoes, and that would let you have people from the young to the young at heart on your team. You'd be talking about bowls. Played around the world and all across Canada in singles, pairs, triples and fours, bowls combines accuracy, strategy, exercise and a ton of fun into one simple awesome sport. It's quick to learn and it's easy to be good. From casual pickup type games, club ladders, competitions, right up to the Canadian national level and onto the world stage. Even if it's just down the street to your local outdoor or indoor club for a game, a smile, and some time together. Bowls. It's just brilliant. Check it out. Wow. 
far in my heart, the air I breathe. What if I'm incomplete without you by my side? What if I go against my heart instead of confessing from the start? What if I miss out on the life meant for us? I need you by my side. Yeah, hello, everybody. Welcome back. We are just getting into the first end of this next game, which is uh, Steve McCarahan and Mark Sanford versus Mike Spadafora and Derek McKay. We will transition that over now, so thanks for tuning in, thanks for sticking with us, hope you enjoy this game. Touched by Derek. Being in Ontario and, and being a player for a long time and a coach, uh, have a lot of history with these players. So if you have questions about who they are and where they're from, um, ask away. Be more than happy to answer your questions. Steve McHarahan, multiple time Canadian medalist, uh, long time bowler on the Canadian national team. Uh, you might know his daughter, Kelly McCarahan, if you're down in Australia. Uh, fantastic female bowler in her own right. Takes after dad. Uh, Derek McKay, Ontario bowler. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say last year's Ontar Ontario Forest champ and Canadian Forest champion, but um, with the pandemic, he is the... I guess the current reigning and defending uh, for his champion, even though it's been a couple years. And on this end, we've got uh, Mark Sanford in the, I'll call it a salmon color. Mark Sanford, uh, multiple time champion, played on the Canadian national team for, for quite a while. Ontario legend in his own right. So you've got Two big names uh, playing with each other in McCarran and Sanford, and um, two that might go under the radar. Mike Spadafora is an excellent lead, and Derek has had a ton of success in the last couple of years. Like I said, he, he won the, the last uh, Canadian Fours when we are actually playing, so this could be a great battle. Short and narrow from uh, Spadafora. I will quickly update the scores for you guys. Farmer McKay up uh, 16 to 8. Good second uh, second shot from Spadafora. Great line, just a little deep, but in a good spot. Let's see what Sanford has for him. A little deep and narrow. with his final bowl. Great bowl there. Shot drawn.
see if San Fran can outdo that. Wow, oh, close. Probably about two feet short. Steve egging it on there and uh, definitely knew it was a good line. So if you're out there and uh, you're from other countries or even in one of our great provinces across Canada, uh, let me know that you're out there. Give you guys a shout out. It'd be nice to know uh, where everybody is from and, and where you're watching from. Fortunate rub there for, for Derek. In there for probably one and two. See what Marky wants here. Looks like Marky's calling a forehand drive or at least an over an overshot to try to take those two out. So we'll see what Stevie has here. It looks like he's going for a drive here. Just on the outside. All right, brand new end. Perfect shot there from Derek. Gets three points for the toucher and is sitting right next to the ditch with the jack. Steve's just going to look to play up to it or through it. It's the practice of drawing the ditch. It's tough. And beautiful shot by Steve there. on the front. So currently Steve has two in there. I don't know who's the number one and number two. So for those that know the Nick Brett shot of getting between two bowls, Steve's trying to get through the dark and the light blue bowl out in front on the left side of your screen. He got around it. But as you can see, it didn't turn enough, so he's trying to get underneath that one. That's a tough shot. Alright, we'll get you an updated score shortly. We'll see how our day goes. Um, our coverage will continue as long as we can, as long as the weather holds up. It looks like it's nice and bright out. A great opening bowl here from Mike Svetofora. Just a little bit through, but almost out of toucher. 
I'll give you an updated score once the official score comes in. A bull from Stanford, and matching bull on the opposite side. Oh, great ball there from Tadafora. Three points for the touch here, and he's holding two. Had a nice drag towards his own bowl. Update the score for you guys here. There we go. 32-16 for and Lakai. Just so you guys know, we might take a break and, and shut down the stream for the next uh, round. Going to make some adjustments here, and obviously I'm I'm here by myself, so we'll do what we can to keep this going as long as possible, and then we'll be back here for round five. Give you an updated uh, standings, see that final game, and then there'll be a break for lunch as well. So we might just get a quick one in there, but. We appreciate you all hanging out with us, checking this out. Uh, we'll see how it goes. We might just uh, stream right through the whole thing. Great bowl from Mark Sanford there. He's holding one. See my co-host in the uh, upper right side next to Derek there having a bottle of water. Luke Caldwell playing in this event. Okay, Derek just uh, coming right up to Mike Spada for his bulls out there. Mark Sanford holding one. Spada for Makai holding two and three. Steve's trying to add to that. See if we can get a second shot out of this. Oh, really narrow and short. They're just trying to draw up that shot. Unfortunately, at that angle, you're not going to be able to to chip it the way that you want. If he if he had actually chipped that, it would have went over to Mark's bowl uh, on the left side of your screen there, that light one. It's a tough position. They want to get it back to their three. But. Steve with a better bowl here, just on the outside of those two bowls, I think. Just coming up a little short. Derek with another drive. Oh, caught it and got the bounce. Look at that. Currently holding all three.
Sorry about that. Folks, just had a uh, interesting visitor just pop in. Uh, Greg Wilson from the national team and a Burlington native. But he's living out in Alberta. I had no idea that he was in here and he just showed up. So shout out Greg Wilson. Good to see you. Good to see you back in your old stomping grounds, checking out bowls. get you an updated score shortly once the official one comes in. <laughs> Looks like everybody's shouting over to the sidelines wondering, Greg, when did you get here? He's got a ton of friends uh, here in Burlington and around Ontario, so... It's always a, a pleasure when he's back here. Good opening there from Mike Spedafora, just a little short. Mark Sanford. Well short, obviously not in camera view. It's before I get in that deep bowl in early. Looking for a reaching bull here. Much better, probably holding a shot now. And after uh, Spadafora delivers his bull here, we'll do an update of the score. Fifty to twenty-four for Spadafar Mackay over McCarahan Sanford. He's crashing on one well in front. Skip's coming back. Bad bowl from Steve there, just a little behind. Probably holding third. Or from Derek, pardon me. Steve McCarrahan. Looking for that second shot here. Great bowl from Steve. Probably holding shot. Could be one, two. Mike looking for just a little action through the center there. Derek's going to play a little bit of weight. See if he can split those probably. Got around him. I think Mike wanted to jiggle him up a little bit and maybe roll through. Steve's just going to try to add to what he did. Quite making it. Yes, 
Tech's playing a little bit of weight here. <laughs> How fortunate is that? Got the chip and the roll and the touch and shot bolt. Steve's gonna have to go up and take a look. All right, we'll see what uh, Steve McCarran has going on here. We've got a hill to climb. It's one end after this, but they want to get a good score to at least close that gap. We'll see if Steve's going to... Chuck one up here. There you go. Held out. Seems like Spetafor and Makai might have got all three, so this might have gotten out of hand. Don't know if. Uh, Steve and, and Mark can actually climb out of this, but we'll see. Once the official score comes in, we'll see what the differential is and, and if it's actually mathematically possible for them to come back. There we go, 7125. Uh, Sanford holding one. Uh, Spadapart has one off screen. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Sanford's got to be reaching here. They need all bulls in the head. That's number two. Well, that's actually shot. to try for touchers and, and whatnot in this to try to close that gap. There you go. Marky just needs to play through. Two feet through. Try that jack. Tough one to get enough points out of to close that gap. They're just really looking for as many points as they can get. So we will be taking a brief uh, shutdown after this game. 
We will relaunch the stream later this afternoon. Uh, we'll try to share it on a few groups and let people know that we're back up and, and rolling. We do appreciate every single person that's been in here watching, whether it's for one game or all the games. Everybody that's been in chat and uh, letting us know where they're from and asking questions. That has been fantastic. So hopefully we'll get that when we come back a little later. But for the first attempt at uh, streaming for the Canadian Bowler, it has been fantastic. And you guys have been fantastic. Good shot there from Steve. It's probably second shot, if not first. And really, uh, Spada for Amakai are just looking to mix up bowls. I don't know where that one was going, but they're looking to mix up bowls to just to keep the points as low as possible. Draw here to finish off the game. We'll give you an updated score, and then when we come back in the afternoon, we'll we'll try to give you an updated leaderboard. Derek with the attack. Looks like Spadafore is one, and uh, Sanford has two and three. We could probably take that out. It'd be one, two, three, but let's see what he has here. He might just be trying to draw it up. You can see the the greens aren't especially quick with the effort that's being put in by all the players. So we're running probably between eleven and twelve. A short bowl there from Steve. Finish up the game. We'll get you an official score to final up. Uh, Spadafora and Makai take out McCarran and Sanford in the third game of today. So there'll be two more games to finish up the event, uh, the round robin, uh, and then we will see who makes it through to the semis and, and who plays from there. Official score, 84, 33. So I'm carrying Sanford, let's get up a little short. So with that, everybody, thank you for checking out the, the stream. Thank you for being in here. Uh, hopefully next time you want to join the chat. Let me know you're out there, ask questions, um, and just have interaction with me. I love that. So we will shut down the stream for now. We will be back uh, later this afternoon, and we will hopefully have updated scores and standings for you guys and let you know uh, what's happening in the shakeup of all the teams. We'll probably have a lunch break after that, and then uh, we'll be back and hopefully get to stream all the semis and all that great stuff for you guys. So thanks again. Thanks for being here. And we will see you all again later.